The start of the new year often symbolizes a clean slate, an opportunity to leave behind the challenges and setbacks of the past. It's a time when individuals set intentions for personal growth, adopting resolutions that reflect their aspirations for the coming months. For some, new year, new me may involve physical transformations, others focus on mental and emotional well-being, um, while some focus on career aspirations. However, amidst the enthusiasm for change, it is essential to approach the year with a balance perspective so tonight we're asking how do you adequately plan for success in 2024 please let's hear what you have to say remember you can join the conversation send us an SMS or WhatsApp message 2081803846636 mm. so new year new me <laughs> I quite like this hashtag I mean I know we've already said um, but who just doesn't love the opportunity for to start, afresh. to start afresh, right? If you are going to, I mean, I, I was listening to Mary, and I, and I think that everybody should please get out pen and paper today because you have to take at least one thing away from this mm. show that's going to help you. Um, most people sometimes, and I love when you were, you were speaking to you all about reflection, right? You first of all even need to know how it went. Yeah. Um, and I think part of what, for me, I think I already shared one of the other days, um, one of the things that actually transformed the end of 2023 for me, it wasn't anything momentous. It was just a day where I sat and I was sort of reflecting. And it occurred to me that when I looked back on 2023, it was, it was following a conversation, actually. And I realized that even though 2023 was tough, right, I couldn't think of anything that I wanted to do. You that, you that I do. didn't do, mm. right? So at that point, that simple thought created a shift where I went from a place of accepting the narrative that 2023 was a tough year to being incredibly thankful mm. and grateful, right, that I was where I was at that particular moment in time. Mm. So it's not about big things. Mm -hmm. It's little shifts, little things that create big shifts. So that yeah. actually help you to reframe your perspective, to view yourself in a different light or your circumstances in a different light. Because we all have good days, we all have bad days. In the middle of all that dirty December, I went through a, a stretch where I was feeling completely and um, totally flat. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you just got overwhelmed from all the going out, coming, like you're just like, I just need a few days to recharge and to replug, like to plug back in. So the reality of it is, Think about it. What did you reflect on? Or if you reflected in 2023, what were the things that stood out to you about your year? What were you thankful for? What were you not so happy about? Or what would you have loved to have changed or done differently? I don't want to say regrets, but mm. things that when you look in hindsight, you're thinking, perhaps I could yeah. have done differently. I think reflection is really, really um, important. And you also, you had mentioned mm -hmm. it already, Jola, so maybe I'll come back to you just to talk about a bit more about your experience with reflecting over the year. Mm. Okay, so um, the, the <coughs> most profound <coughs> thing for me Excuse was, me. Um, okay, so let me start with saying that one of the things that I do is um, I curate content around intentional living. Uh -huh. So mm. I, I believe in that a lot. Uh -huh. And mm. I believe that um, nothing really just happens just like uh. that. And um, you shouldn't be in a place or you shouldn't just accept the fact that, well, whatever happens, happens. Uh. You always have a say. It's either you're being proactive or you're being reactionary. Uh -huh. that, that's, that has always been my stand. So at the end of 2023, I mean, like you rightly said, you know, there was a whole lot of that... Um, narrative oh 2023 was a shitty year crazy year this that and all that and in reflecting and i keep a gratitude journal and um i realized that it wasn't as bad as i thought mm -hmm. and that for me again was very profound because i mean i i i i, I saw that some of the things that i had written mm -hmm. like i needed to do this I realized 
I, I did it. Someone came through. Someone called me on this particular day that I was feeling. Someone just said, oh, I've been thinking about you. I need to speak to you. Oh, some, you know, at every point in time. And I think for me, I got carried away with all the white noise at a point in time. Mm. I lost faith in my own vision because it wasn't happening the way I wanted it to happen, mm. you know, and it, it, it brought me back to the fact that my visions has not changed mm -hmm. because they are premised, they're steeped in my own core values, mm. you know. So it's not like, yes, it, it can get bigger because I evolve one or two tweaks, but the core of it is still very much in tandem with who I am. Mm. At, at my core, you know, and I, 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 it brought me to that point where I am like, okay, you know what? You need to understand that there is process. And in, in, in moving, in, in going on this journey, there will be details. Mm. You can't afford to see yourself as having lost the dream or having failed or having mm. lost hope or like, oh, okay, now that this boss has taken me to Oshodi instead mm. of um, this thing, that means I will not You're get to my destination. And re you know. yeah. Exactly. So that informed how I planned or how I how set you went my into plan for 2024. And I think that's a good yeah. um, good place to mm. sort of jump into. Mm. Yes, we've reflected. Yeah. Um, and then now you've taken the learnings of the mm. year mm. and now you're moving into 2024. Mm. I don't say it again. We're 16 days in, mm. but it's not too late. The mm. reason why we're having this conversation today is there is still time. If you feel like you haven't planned, if you feel mm. like you haven't thought about it, it's, it doesn't have to be a December yeah. conversation. It doesn't yeah. have to be a January conversation. This is one of those times where they literally say, the day you, when you wake up is your morning. Yes, so <laughs> let today be your morning. Let tomorrow Absolutely. be your morning. But Absolutely. the most important thing is the taking action. Mm. So one of the things that I did when it came to goal setting mm. after reflecting was, and this would be our first tip for today, what areas of your life mm. are you planning to plan about <laughs> let me put it that way right what areas are you looking at what areas are you focusing at and i had a list of things that i wanted to focus on um first and foremost for me in this year based on my reflection from last year was my health mm. was focusing on being a healthier version of myself mm. um in 2024 um and understanding what metrics I wanted to tweak. So like for me, blood pressure is a huge thing. Um, I really wanted to get to a good place. So health was one. Secondly, well, I've talked economy, economy, money, <laughs> money, money. <laughs> Finances was two. Yeah. Um, family for me, uh, having children, I think it's important for every parent to also plan around how you're going to parent, yeah. how you're going to help your family be better and it's not about money particularly when you have younger children mm -hmm. right how are you going to instill in them the right values depending on wh what age they are mm -hmm. and all of that so there's some deliberateness to it even to you know how you pray over your children for me was key um after family i think spiritual was another one mm -hmm. having spiritual goals and it's, it's not about religion it's yeah. about you and you know your faith and whatever you connect with you know higher being or or, or the likes but how are you developing yourself and your soul mm. um, better? Mm. Then there was career, whether it's business, whether it's mm. career. That part of it as well was for me, a lot of people in this country, career happens to them. <laughs> Let me say, job. <laughs> they have job. They don't quite get to career yeah, yeah. because there's not enough planning True. around how I'm charting my career. Mm. If your job today tells you you are a doctor, it's okay. If you are a doctor a and tomorrow they tell you you are an IT person, mm -hmm. a doctor becomes an IT person as long as, like you said, we're paying yeah. the bills. Yeah. So that was, um, for me, the, the, the next one. And then the final one, which sort of ties into career, is the area of self-development. So whether it be you know, professional yeah. courses, academic, that kind of thing. So for me, those were like the six high-level places that I sort of placed um, areas that I focused on. Um, was there anything else that I could have missed out that you looked at that maybe doesn't fall under this six? I know it's very broad. <laughs> mm. Finances is 
it was everybody was like, we're planning for our money, we're hustling this year. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, did you, how did you approach it? So in terms of these sort of different areas, mm. you know, what was your focus? I know for me, vision board mm. is, a, is a huge part of yeah. my, mm. my own sort of approach to it. You mm. already talked mm. about having mm. a vision. Mm. Um, but how did you then go about planning for this year? Okay, so I have a vision board. Uh -huh. I'm a very big on vision board. What I see, yep. um, I you might resonate like exactly. magazines and stuff. Oh, sometimes from magazines, from a book. You from build it, you print, print it, it as long as you print, put do, it together. You know, I have this very big journal, uh -huh. you know, that I use. And I put everything there. I'm very big on it because, I mean, I like graphical things. And um, so I have for health. Mm -hmm. I have family, I have self, I have um, finances. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, finances, of course, I work in that sector. So mm -hmm. that one is even a given from my boss. You have to, mm -hmm. you know, do your financial plan and all that. Um, then I have health. So here is the interesting thing. I have all these goals for these things. Mm -hmm. I, I, I tell myself I want to be able to achieve this. But one thing I have also realized over the years is I get stuck. Uh -huh. Sometimes, maybe because the, the, the vision or the goal is too big. Uh -huh. And like I said, you know, you have details. So I have told myself, okay, you know what? I don't want to get stuck in the middle of the year. I don't uh -huh. want to mount so much pressure because there's also that, um, uh -huh. that idea, you know, where you put, it's as if you're racing against time uh -huh. by yourself. So I broke them down into, I said to myself, I'd be by, by 2024 ending. Uh -huh. I want to be so fit such that I know for a fact that I am very fit. Mm. And so I broke it down. I said, okay, so being fit is, before I put pressure and kill myself, is doing okay, it the right you, way. You know, I must do it the right way. So I'm looking at nutrition, I'm looking at um, self, um, like, you know, self care. You know, I'm looking at, okay, how many um, bottles of water will I drink? Okay, my exercise routine. Okay, you know, I just broke it down into small, 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 yeah, small. Yeah, into habits. Exactly. And, and that's the same form. thing I yeah. did for all the facets of my life. To say, oh, okay, you know, with family, I want to bond more with my family this year. Okay, what do I want to do? I'm, I can't promise every day because Lagos can be funny, yeah. you know. So I said to myself, okay, my Sundays are, you know, I will make sure that every Sunday I touch base with my family, I put everybody on a call, you know, laugh, shout, do whatever. At least I have done that for the yeah. week, you know. So, again, putting actions that I know that will not put me under pressure, mm. but something that I can do however little, but consistently, yeah. you know. So that's what I have, you know, put in place. So one was reflection. The second thing that I, I, I have done was, um, you know, um, go back to my um, goals, my vision, and then the third th um, thing was um, to break down those goals into hmm. small actionable, actionable plans. plans. Yeah. Awesome, I love yeah. it. Um, I think this would be a great place for us to take a break and when we come back we'll open the phone lines. If you're just tuned in, it's our Ladies Night Out and we're discussing the topic planning for success in 2024, hashtag new year new me. Please let's hear what you have to say. Remember you can join the conversation, send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 0818-038-4663. Our phone line is also now open and you can call us on 070 Zero two five double zero seven seven four nine. Please remember to turn on the volume of your TV set when you call in, so that we can hear you and have a great conversation. So I like where you stopped, Jola, and I think that vision boards are so powerful because what we see, you know, it's almost like oscillating on a frequency. It's like the day you tell yourself you want to buy a particular car, mm. you start to see that car everywhere, everywhere. around you. You know, so. The idea that we can put visuals, you know, at, you know, a place where you can see it. I mean, you can have a physical vision board, mm -hmm. you can have a digital vision board. Um, but the most important thing is that it's, it's a series of images that you're focusing on. And I think that for me, there are four key questions that you have to ask yourself mm -hmm. when you're creating a vision board. I think at the center of the vision board needs to focus on who you want to be. So personally for yourself, um, who do you want to be? And then you have things around it, around things you want to do, things you want to have, 
what your desires are. And, you know, there are little tips and tricks around it. I mean, if you Google it, if you go on social media, mm. there are tons of influencers yeah, and gurus so <laughs> yeah, teaching you how to, to build vision boards. But I think the main thing is keeping that mental image, that image. And, you know, if you put your vision board um, in your room, for example, mm. it's like making sure that it's on, at your eye line. So yeah. wherever your eye is focused on the most when you are in your room, for example, that's where you need to have it. If it's a... If it's a uh, an e-version mm -hmm. then maybe have it as your wallpaper on your yeah. phone or you know mm -hmm. on your device so that you're looking at it and seeing it but you in putting all of these things together I think that for me it was also important to address some of the things that could also hinder you so I mean when Mary was talking about now looking for clarity being drained I think that for me identifying some of my triggers as well what are those things that made me could potentially hinder my ability mm. to achieve these goals that I've set for myself. Mm. And there are a couple of things for me. So fear being one. Mm. Um, I've talked many times on how fear has was a huge problem in my life for, the, for a long time, particularly fear of failure. And then you know you have this sort of epiphany and you mm. say, yeah, but if you don't fail, you're never going to learn from it. You're mm. never going to rise mm. from it, right? Um, so fear for me was one. I think in today's world, we are all anxious. <laughs> if you're not anxious, you're doing great. Mm. <laughs> um, anxiety mm. is another thing i think mm -hmm. even since covid yeah with anxiety has become you know a norm and part of the day so being able to also address that how you deal with it doubt while women imposter syndrome mm. self-doubt is another big one um that you need to address and i think the last one for me which is the one that leads to procrastination and leads to a lot of not actually taking action is boredom Sometimes I find myself in a state of inertia, like I have so much to do, I don't know where to start, <laughs> and then I, I stay still for long enough mm -hmm. and boredom sets in. Mm -hmm. So I think important that when you set goals, to it's like doing a SWOT analysis, you know yeah. what your, your threats are, what your weaknesses are, mm -hmm. and how you want to address it because the whole idea of planning is planning for success, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. um, it's not just about saying I will do, it's part of what you take away from the reflections is what didn't I do so well or what were my hindrances mm. and then planning coming back to that taking action what are the little things um, there was a, a few years ago where my mantra was DOT do one thing do one mm. thing every day that gets you closer to your goal um, but in this sense you have to plan you have to think about how am I going to deal with whatever my barriers could be mm. I mean somebody once talked to me about um, the concept of self-limiting beliefs mm. How she herself was the, the barrier, yeah, was the yeah, roadblock, yeah. you know. And the minute she was kinder to herself, you know, and addressed these things, mm. it also had an impact. But planning is one thing, mm. right? Um, taking action is, is hard, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> even, I feel like even before taking action, mm. I don't know, for me... Belief is such a... I, I'm, I think I'm struggling so hard right now to change my belief systems because mm -hmm. I understand that it's a huge hindrance, you know. So this morning, or I think it was yesterday or so, and I asked myself, I said, okay, are you going to the gym every day? Because Has it now become a habit or, you know, because you're after the whole flat tummy, you need to understand that it's really not going to come in one day mm -hmm. and you need to be able to love yourself through each phase mm -hmm. you can't keep going to the gym thinking oh shit i'm going to put put in so much work so that it will go in now you cannot get there with that so i started thinking if you don't have the right thinking even towards the goals that you have Mindset. you're not going to reach there so it's like everything is just taking me step back step back step back like you need to reroute everything mm -hmm. entirely like it's you just cannot want to be there and you need to accept understand where you are and you also need to realize that there's actually nothing wrong with where you are mm -hmm. like there's actually nothing wrong but then you're just because you're so eager to get somewhere else you just think that oh this is so bad i love I, I mean i'm complaining of last year last year was a lot but then i I did two it. trips that you I didn't even, yeah. I didn't plan at the beginning of the year that I was going to travel anywhere, mm. literally. So what are you talking about? It just fell on your lap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that means 
how about if you're a bit you're intentional, intentional about if you it. have the right belief system mm. you know today one the minute you believe oh you know what i can do it and the next thing you're feeling so lethargic you're feeling so you know so it's we we had a retreat at work and you know there was a motivational speaker uh -huh. and everything in my spirit was just fighting it was just fighting and i'm just like Am I just being a Gen Z that's just rebelling against things? Uh, or is something here is not working for me? And the earlier you're able to, you know, accept that, yeah, you know what, I'm different. Uh, this thing you're saying is not about coming and saying, you can't do it, you yeah. can't do it. Then, mm -mm, mm -mm. There's, there's, there's something that if you hit it from the base, if you're able to solve it from yeah. your belief system, it would, it would flow. It what was, is so, it so, was, so what is your why? Why are you doing the thing that you're doing? I, I mean, yeah. so you, those are the kind of questions I'm asking myself. Do you understand? I, like, I'm, I keep using the gym as one thing. I, I'm very open, but I really want the flat tummy figure. It. And I keep thinking, have you been um, conditioned. Made, yeah, conditioned to believe that? Um, the definition of yes, beauty. Yes, yes, that's the definition know. of beauty. Yeah. And so mm -hmm. if you don't have that shape, or if you don't have that figure, something is wrong with you. So I, I think that this is why it's important to ask yourself and yeah. you know reflect. What's your why? I, and there's nothing. I mean, that's a goal. Having mm -hmm. a flat topic yeah. could be a goal, but it has to be a goal for the right reasons. Mm -hmm. It has to be a goal for your reasons, not perhaps what culture imposes on you Absolutely. or what Which is society. Yeah. To yeah. So yeah. leave. Yeah. As long as, and I think that once you get to that point mm -hmm. where you realize that this is my why mm -hmm. it actually makes it easier for you to get yes, to your absolutely because your motivations are now in the in the right place but when you talked about belief there was something that I, I really wanted to mention a lot of the time we are our own worst critics mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. um, between things like self-limiting beliefs things like self-doubt we don't quite see ourselves the way the world sees us and sometimes a lot of the time the solution to that is leave how you see yourself focus on how people see you what people tell you about yourself the people that constantly tell you positive things about yourself I, you don't think you're good at anything but somebody tells me man if i could just do hair like you if i could just do my makeup like you if i could you know hold on to that thing if you can't even in yourself process anything good about yourself mm. just hold on to what people say i'm a huge proponent of fake it till you make it you have to condition your mind right to believe these things and like you said it takes time but you have to con continuously reinforce the message. You have to continuously listen to that person that says you're good at this thing until you, you know, you believe it. You keep rep repeating it. It's like affirmation. Like yeah, affirmations. affirmations. Yeah, you have okay. to keep repeating it and repeating mm. it and repeating it. And one of the things I think that is key um, in habit forming is that repetition. Yeah. And also in having routines. Mm -hmm. So um, I remember if it was probably... I don't think it was last year, maybe it was in 2022, when um, the actor Mark Wahlberg, his routine came out, mm -hmm. like, for the whole day. And people, like, social media was going on and on about how he wakes up at 4 a.m., he prays, he works out. Like, every minute of the day seemed to be scripted. Mm -hmm. But then there's something to be said for the level of success that he has achieved, right? So there could, you could argue that there's some value to it. It doesn't have to be scripted to that level of detail but have routines. What's mm. your morning routine? What's your evening routine? What's your mindset is an important thing. How do you condition your mind, mm. right? Mm. How do you um, condition your body? Because sometimes right? you, you won't always follow the routine. Yeah. Some days it will fall off. And but if you, you keep, but if if you keep you, understanding that you have it, then it helps you to form the habit. Yes. Yeah. But, the, you know, because there are times when if you, how you treat yourself mm. when you fall, yeah it's very yeah, important very, very, very important it's yeah. very very yeah. important yeah mm. like sometimes i'm like there, there's really nobody you with you now can you now? can yeah. you just be <laughs> nicer, if i didn't do it today i can pick it up again you know? nicer to yourself yeah. but there's, there's always just yeah. that ah, i didn't do it i didn't do it i didn't mm. I, I missed today i missed yeah. it and i'm just yeah. like Okay, well, so, so in that situation tomorrow really is not going to yeah okay so i want to say that um i mean this belief system is so key that a lot of people don't even know why they do the things they do sometimes uh -huh. again sometimes we are a product of our environment the our influences the people around mm -hmm. us parents siblings and all that and we have taken on behaviors that we don't even know that we have uh -huh. so sometimes those voices are so loud 
in our heads mm. that even when we want to hold on to the very few that are saying the positives mm. those those other negative loud voices you know but i would just want to say this to all of us that it is important to understand that you you have the ability and the capacity to unlearn mm -hmm. and relearn mm -hmm. it's never too late because for some adults they'll say please your other people will say i'm too old i can't change it's a lie yeah you can't change you can. it's a choice it's a it's choice a decision. exactly mm. you can't change and you should always 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 look forward to being better, better. Absolutely. Always, always. Never accept it. And I think that's a great thing. So mm -hmm. when I was talking about the routines, mm -hmm. I think I'll come back to what Mary said. Yes, it's important to know that it's not cast in stone, but if you want to build a habit, mm -hmm. there is repetition, mm -hmm. there is a continuous. But it, it's sort of how you frame it. Like if you're building a routine, don't start off building 20 things. Yeah. Just pick one, two, mm -hmm. three things. If I say my morning routine is that I wake up at this time, I make my bed, I brush my teeth. That's enough to start mm -hmm. forming a habit. My evening routine. I'm going to, if you're a woman, you wear makeup, I'm going to make sure I take off my makeup, I'm going to make sure I wash my face, mm. I'm going to pray. That's an easy enough evening routine yeah. to start to form habits yeah. and build on it. Tiny, How do you, tiny yeah, steps. tiny little drops, right? How do you change your mindset? Am I going to read something? Am I going to, like you said, you have a gratitude journal? Mm. Am I going to write down something about my day that helps mm. me to reflect better? Mm. Um, if it's movement, nobody is saying jump into the gym today yeah. and go and do 200 yeah. squats or 200 push-ups. Just walk. Try walking a thousand steps today yeah. and, and, and building to it. So I think those those sort of little steps, mm. you know, really, really help. Do you get into the habit um, of planning your day the next day? I mean, I've made a decision this year that that madness I go through every <laughs> morning of what am I going to wear? I'm going to make sure mm. that every evening, if I'm going out mm. the next pick day, out, well, yeah. I'm <laughs> going to pick out, the, pick out yeah. everything. <laughs> So that it helps me start my morning right. in a better way. Yeah. So it's little that things. It's really yeah, little things. Little, little really things is. that yeah. you just realize um, how quickly things are changing. And I think for me, the last thing that, that, that I really wanted to mention um, in terms of tips for our viewers, there's a, I don't know if I should call it a thing, or a system mm. that is 10, 10, 10. Um, and really, when you said you were looking for clarity, some people are looking for some, why am I here? Mm -hmm. What's my purpose? You mm -hmm. know, some people are just trying to get through the day with nothing that actually drives them. Um, and 10, 10, 10, 10 is something that has helped me, right? Um, and it's simply, first of all, making lists. I know we didn't talk about it, mm -hmm. but please write it down. If yeah, you're a Christian, even the Bible tells you paper, to write it down, right? Write the vision and make it plain, right? But for me, writing lists has helped. And this 10, 10, 10 is actually a series of lists. So 10 different things under three different headings. Mm. Things that you enjoyed doing as a child, mm. right? Write 10 things. I'm going somewhere with this. 10 things that you like doing now as an adult today. 10 things that you enjoy. Mm. And then 10 things that you are curious about. Now, when you've taken the time to sit and write those 10 things, here's what it helps you to do. One, when you're writing the 10 things that you, you loved as a child, it helps you to reconnect with positive memories and things that you enjoyed, right? Mm -hmm. When you've written the 10 and you've gone through all the memories, pick one, go and be silly, do something. Even if it's running around in the rain and getting wet, something that just helps you to find some little joy in your life and remember times in your life when things were a lot easier. Things you like to do now, again, mm -hmm. Not everything is about tons of money because I know people say, I know it's tough, it's time. Whether it is, you know, finding something nice that you like to eat mm -hmm. or going for a walk or talking to your best friend. Again, something that brings you into a happier place. Um, but it's something that you enjoy doing now. Do you want to go and do your nails? Do you want to go and do your hair? Do you want to go to the gym? Something that just helps you again connect with your happy place. And because we always want to get better, when you're curious about something, please... Pick one and learn about it. The internet today is... Knowledge has never been easier to yeah. acquire. I know, right? I it's have... So accessible. You know, it's so <laughs> accessible. Like, literally now, you don't even need to read it. If you Google it, you yeah. will find a video exactly. where somebody is talking about it. Mm -hmm. But that curiosity just helps you to develop yourself. Like, for me, I have avoided the world of crypto and all of that. Mm -hmm. And my industry has now finally given me permission to connect with it. So now I'm trying to learn blockchain. I'm trying to learn crypto. So what do those three things just help you do? 
it just gives you a bit of joy it gives you a bit of focus it helps mm. you to learn to develop and i think for me that would be my final comment for for the show today is just these things when it comes to planning and ensuring success they're not about big things yeah they're little changes we just keep shifting one degree at a time until we've done a full 180. Yeah. It's about finding systems and tools that help you. Yeah. Once you know what your problem there's an app for everything today. True. From tracking your sleep to waking up to eating to there's nothing in life today that you cannot find on a Play Store or an App Store somewhere that just gives you the tools for success. Mm. So goal wise, reflect, know your goals know who you are your values mm. what is your vision yeah. um and then make plans yeah. break it down into little actionable steps mm. form habits build routines mm. and find some joy yeah. ten, ten, ten. try it i mean i like um, i like that i'm, I'm going mm. to practice it yeah. you know and i will give you a feedback i'm looking forward it. to it and then i also want to add something to what you said all of the things that we have said mm. rather and that is to be very practical about goal setting. Mm. Um, in the finance world, sometimes when we take people on personal finance journey, mm. we always tell people, I mean, you can't be earning um, 5,000 now and then say that um, you want to, you have a goal within a year mm. to move to Banana Island, you know, without putting in Without place, putting in. You're not, <laughs> Because understanding the why, the yeah. goal, setting yourself up that, for failure. Exactly, yeah. and that's yeah. going to take you down some drain mm. you don't want. So mm -hmm. make it realistic. There's always the opportunity to be better, to make it bigger, and all that. Just mm. be practical, and, right. you know. Yeah. Mary, I think you have a comment. Uh, yeah, we have a comment. Good evening, my dear beautiful sisters of what are you saying? Hashtag ways, planning for success in 2024. Hashtag new year, new me. Before we start to plan, we need to know what we are really doing and up to. Like the saying goes, if we fail to plan, we plan to fail. Mm -hmm. 2024 is here already. We, real, we really need to take action after planning. Like my dear beautiful sister D said, for example, we may need to step up our bonding with our family members and relatives. Also, we need to stop some bad habits that we were involved in last year and turn a new leaf this year. To have a new you, you need to improve your mindset and drop some bad habits and decide never to go back to them. Just like having a new year resolution. Through all these, we will surely succeed in 2024. My dear beautiful sister Uti made mention of conditioning our mind and body, which are a great wholeheartedly. My name is Daniel Elo. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. Daniel has formed the habit of watching the show and commenting. So I know. Continue <laughs> in 2024. <laughs> We're so so that's a great habit to, uh, to have. Um, so we have uh, this comment for me. It's, it's not the comment itself is short, but it's where the comment came from. Mm. It says, "I like your program so much." Right away from South Sudan. Whoa. And this is Christopher Ochaya. So thank you, Christopher. Thank We're so you glad so that much. you enjoyed the show. <laughs> I mean, it's, we've run out of time, but it's been great. Thank you, ladies. Um, before we go, do ensure you follow us on Instagram at Wayshow Africa. You can interact with us further, drop a comment, and most importantly, follow all our social media engagements. And remember to like, share and comment invite your friends and family to watch us if you missed today's quote here it is again new year new fields new chances same dreams and fresh starts we hope that you take opportunity to plan so we'll see you tomorrow at 8 p.m as we bring another great conversation to your screen bye bye